Israel has stressed the need for constant interfaith dialogue to foster tolerance and peaceful coexistence among various religions in Nigeria. Mr. Yotam Kreiman, Charge the Affairs of Israel to Nigeria, said this in his address at a one-day symposium on peace, tolerance and coexistence among different religions held in Abuja. Israel is not only home to the three Abrahamic religions, it's also the place in which the stories from our scriptures took place, be it Jerusalem of King David and Solomon, Nazareth and Bethlehem of Jesus Christ, and Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is tied to the story of the Prophet Asala Alayhi We are here today to highlight the great role that interfaith dialogue has to play in promoting reconciliation and development among people of all faiths. Interfaith refers to the common ground that is shared by all religions, a concept that upholds mutual tolerance, respect, and love. Ours is a society where people follow different religions, faiths, norms, values, and traditions, which shape our perception and emotions. It would be of great benefit if such emotions and perceptions led to peace, fraternity, love, and mutual well-being. Archbishop Ignatius Kaigema, Metropolitan Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, had this to say. We are being called daily not only to learn about peace in theory, but to practice it concretely in daily life. Religion is not just about doctrines, about speculative analysis, about just issues that are not practical. It's about implementing the values that we practice about love, about peace, and unity, and so on. Rabbi Israel Uzan, chief rabbi of the Jewish community in Nigeria, said there was need to sensitize people to the importance of peace to promote mutual coexistence. Well, we are supposed to understand that it's true that we have different positions. We have different beliefs. And this is not wrong. This is not bad. This is the beautiful of the humanity. This is even what God makes on this world, to make people with different sensibility and different beliefs. So we have to understand that we are different positions, we are sometimes not agree with different situations. We have sometimes different story or view of the story, but we are doing coexisting together. We are living together. We are, uh, we are even give the, 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 the time to each one to celebrate his own believer. And when we get this point, we don't just snap, we don't just make a symbol. We understand the real point that people can be no agree together. People can uh, have some dysfunction of some uh, uh, different vision of the, of, the, uh, of the story of the situation of the believer, but together, they sit together, they talk together, they make a time for when they want to believe for themselves, and there's a time when they have to live in our society. Dr. Muhammad Adam, Imam of Abuja National Mosque, described Islam as a religion centered on promoting peaceful coexistence. Islam says a Muslim must be peace-loving person. He must respect his neighbor. In fact, it is part of the Islamic belief to respect your neighbor. And you cannot dictate who is going to be your neighbor. Anybody can be your neighbor. The event attracted leaders from various religions as well as the diplomatic community.